Okay, guys, welcome to Marvelous Designer. Um, we're using Marvelous Designer 2 in this um, demonstration. <laughs> I don't know why my words just failed me, but we're using Marvelous Designer 2 because it's the one I love the most. And um, yeah, it's the greatest. <laughs> anyway, so we're using Marvelous Designer 2, and when you open it, it may look like this. If it looks like this, where you only have like four or five buttons up here we need to make some changes because um, you're not getting all the tools you need to create so if your toolbar is like this I need you to move your mouse right here in this gray bar right click on it and make sure that the 2d pattern toolbar is checked um, otherwise you'll be missing out on all the design tools that you actually need to make this program go all right so now that we have that fixed let's start by bringing in our avatar that we need to make clothes for so let's go grab our baby so you want to go over to File, Open, and Avatar. And you're going to look for, um, you want to navigate to your project folder, in this case, on my desktop. So I'm going to move to my desktop, and we're going to select the, the baby. And when you click it, you're going to be greeted by this little pop-up menu right here. And it's going to ask you what scale you want to put it in, and do you want to change any of the axis conversions. You're not going to touch any of this stuff. All you're going to do is just touch this little box right here that says M. And it's going to automatically fill in the number here, and you're just going to hit OK. And as you see, our little baby pops right in, and it's at the same scale as it is in Blender. So we're going to press New, File, and then New, and get rid of the uh, default garment. And then we're going to get ready to start designing the clothes. So what I'm going to do is teach you how to make uh, a basic t-shirt and pants. And I said this before, once you learn how to make a t-shirt and pants, everything else just kind of flows into it. Because uh, Marvel Designer is made for uh, 3D people and professional garment makers as well. So if you know and have skill in pattern making with clothes, you can just create and draft the pattern onto the baby and then poof, you got clothes. Um, and, but if you don't know how to do that, you can just draw the shape of the clothes and poof, you got clothes for the most part. I think about like 96% of the garments you can just draw the shape on. Um, that's excluding dresses and skirts in most cases. That you actually have to do some research on. But right now we're going to talk about the simple thing, the t-shirt and the pair of pants. But um, Before then, I'm going to have to show you the tools. That way you can know what you're clicking on. So what we're going to do is talk about the windows. This is, so I'm going to do a, a quick run through of how to use Marvel Designer. That way you know what I'm talking about and you know you can master the program a little bit faster. Alright, so you ready? Okay, let's begin. So this right here is the 3D window. This is where your 3D model will be, where you can preview it, where you can do your 3D segment sewing and uh, pull and manipulate the pattern that you create over here in the 2D window. The 2D window is... Well, basically, it's a 2D window where you draw on your pattern and um, do the labeling and all the stuff here. Um, these two work together. You create the pattern in a 2D window and then sew it in a 3D window and then poof, you got clothes. Um, so how do you draw your pattern on here, you may be asking. And that, my friend, is where these tools come into play. These are the 2D pattern tools. And you'll be using these to create all your garments and things, my bobs, here. Uh, you have this tool, which is called the Polygon Tool, which allows you to create uh, any kind of shape as long as you connect the dot back into the first dot you created, like that. Um, next to it is the Create Rectangle tool, which allows you to create rectangles instantly instead of trying to use the Pattern tool to create a rectangle. See how much faster that was? Um, and next to that is the Circle tool, which allows you to create circle patterns and stuff um, without trying to use the Polygon tool. I'm not even going to try to butcher a circle <laughs> using the Polygon tool, but you see how much easier and cleaner that was just using the tool right here. And that allows you to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to press New and uh, get rid of this mess. Uh, next to the polygon tools are the internal tools, and they're marked by being red. So let's create a regular pattern real quick. That's just a square. And you see these are the internal tools, which allows you to create patterns inside your pattern. So it's like... Poof. <laughs> mind blown there uh, this is good for when you need to create lines inside of there like folds or um, 
folds or pleats or if you want to sew a pocket to your clothes you need to use the internal polygon tool to create something to, to sew to um, the next to that is the internal square and the internal circle now one thing that's neat about the internal tools is that unlike the regular black pattern tools you can just click and make any pattern you want and then double click to end it you don't need to connect it to um, the first dot like you do with the external tools so you can make any pretty much any shape uh, you're just constrained by your imagination and or uh, if the program says no <laughs> um, another neat thing about the internal tools is that you can also convert them into holes so let's um, get rid of all of this again so I'm going to select this and get rid of them all and create a new uh, pattern here. So I'm create a square and I'm going to select this internal circle tool. So I'm just going to click it inside here and then we're going to right click our own, on the internal circle. No, no, we're going to use this selection right here, this cursor and click on our internal circle and then you can see this right here it says convert to hole and now you have a hole in your pattern so I bet you're wondering um, how do I see what I'm doing in all this how do I know that's a hole well what you're gonna need to do and what I should have said in the first place before this is you're gonna press this button right here it looks like a recycle button but it's actually the sync button and whenever you have that turned on what you do in the 2D pattern is reflected over here in the 3D window. So you get to see how your pattern looks on, um, you know, in real time. If you have it turned off, you'll see that the pattern turns red and this means it's not syncing. So whatever you do on here, oops, sorry, whatever you do here isn't reflected in the 3D pattern and isn't changed because it's not in sync with each other. So once you turn that back on, you see it comes back and it starts working. Alright, so get out of here, Shuji. Okay, so you got that. So what about these other tools? What do these do? Now, with these tools, um, these are pattern manipulation tools. Uh, I'm going to create another pattern here, a little rectangle, so you guys can see it. And you're going to use this tool right here which is like our universal edit point tool which allows you to click on points uh, well, yeah. you can move the pattern about you click on the points and you can manipulate them that way like clicking there and doing that or doing this like that uh, next to that is the black one which allows you just to click patterns as a whole so I'm gonna show you what I mean by that so you can just click paste and paste here so you can just select this pattern and you can select and manipulate all the patterns at once. It's just a general um, pattern selection tool, which is transform pattern tool is what it's called. But it allows you to edit and transform and manipulate your multiple patterns or something like that. Get it? Okay. Um, next to that is the edit curve, add a curve. So sometimes you may need to curve your pattern in. You can do it like this and just use this tool. So you can make uh, like half circles or something like that for your dresses. Totally, if dresses are going to be a thing, this, this tool is you're just going to be using that a lot. <laughs> um, next to it is our edit curve point. This allows us to like further define the curve a little more like so. So you can edit and make crazier curvy thingies right here by using that. So it adds a point and a curve to it basically. Uh, speaking of points, that's what this tool is right here. It's add a point. So you can further customize your pattern even more if you want it to. And if you want, you could just add another one right there ta-da this is how you add points and stuff like that now next to them over here on this side are sewing tools and these are 2d sewing tools and I don't really use them because I'm an avid 3d sewer but you can when it comes down to start sewing you can um, actually just sew with those as well but when it comes to a Mighty Ginkgo tutorial, we do 3D sewing, not 2D sewing. So, but they basically work the same. Um, so, you see how I was able to just sew this part right here? Uh, you can do the same thing over here 
Ugh, if I can just select it. Jeez. Look at this. So tools pretty much work the same. As you see, it's got the same seam line. So that's sewing. Alright, so now we got sewing out of the way. Let's go and um, dive in and start making our garment. So let's press new and get out of here. And we're going to start making our um, t-shirt. So I'm going to stop this because it's at the 10 minute mark.